So there was a demand in town, mostly by moms, to come up with some sort of a non-contact football league for their kids. So through um, some contacts I had through other towns, Parks and Rec's department, I heard about this league that's sponsored by the NFL. Um, and to take a step back further, the NFL, as part of their um, settlement with the Players Union, one of the components of that was to fund a non-contact league for youth players. So we contacted NFL Flag, and they provided us with everything we needed to start a youth flag football league. A lot of the moms who saw their kids playing were interested in actually coming up with a league of their own. Um, Kelly Carp, who's actually my neighbor, approached me about starting a, uh, a women's flag football league. And I, I explained to her that we'd be happy to sponsor that. Uh, Parks and Rec would be happy to sponsor that um, if she could get enough interest that we that she and I could easily form a women's flag football league. So through those efforts, we did a little bit of um, we reached out a little bit to some of the women who play softball in the women's softball league, and here we are a month later with about 40 plus women who meet every Monday night to play flag football, and it's been a big success. Um, it's almost like a sorority now, it seems like to me. Um, it's very competitive, they compete hard. We've only had one injury, thank God, um, nothing major. And they play for about an hour or so. Um, we have some of the high school varsity kids who referee the games. I referee some of the games. Um, they play football for an hour and then they go to Cornell's and have a few beers after. It's really become a nice uh, Monday night for the ladies. So, you know, hopefully, um, it gains momentum and we have uh, enough for six teams next year. Currently we have four. We have four teams. Would love it next year if we could get six to eight teams and really make this sort of an annual fall tradition for the ladies. All right. Now if someone wanted to get involved, how can they go about doing so? They go onto the Town, uh, town of Hopkinton Parks and Rec website um, and you can register or you could just call me at Town Hall and um, at Parks and Rec and I can get you, I can get you all set up to play flag football at the ladies. Um, anyone who wanted to volunteer to referee or to help coordinate or just to be part of it, it's very easy. Just go on the Parks and Rec website for the town of Hopkinton and uh, register. All right, terrific. And the season is September through November? The season is actually, we started this year, we just wanted to play six or seven games. So they're playing, I think it started, yeah, started three weeks ago, and it goes right up through the first week in November. But if there's interest to continue playing, it doesn't cost anything to rent this field out. Um, the uniforms are all here. We have the, the footballs. We have the we have the lights normally, and uh, we'll keep playing for as long as they want. I play with, on the women's softball team in the spring and uh, enjoy playing uh, sports. And was uh, a little bit uh, sad to see the season come to an end. So I was trying to find something for uh, women to do in the fall, and uh, it occurred to me that uh, flag football might be something fun. And I reached out to a bunch of my friends, and they all Where seemed very it? interested. So I reached out to uh, Park and Rex, and they thought it would be a great idea. It's been a lot of fun. We're having a, a great time. Um, I have had nothing but positive feedback. Um, my team hasn't won a single game yet, but we're having a great time. We come out every week. We're uh, we're getting a lot of exercise, and we're meeting some friends, and we're just you know it's it's a lot of a lot of good fun. So we're really enjoying it.